So it came to pass. I said I could have a drink. Go ahead. Thanks. Yeah. Who's that son of a bitch? Gringo the damned. Or Gringo, the madman. Nobody seems to know, really. A lot of people think it was the whiskey. But I know it's what happened in there. He went into that jungle with five of his friends looking for gold. Six years later, he came back alone. Wild-eyed, mad, a man who didn't know his own name. He was clutching bag of loot. And he, he wouldn't let go. Well, what was inside the sack? Gold? No. Five shrunken heads of his friends. Shrunken. What do you think? We're getting warm? Maybe. You've been flying these jungles for six months, and all you can give me is a maybe? I'm beginning to wonder if there's any oil down there to begin with. Oh, this 
vessel to feel your spirit of adventure. That I seriously doubt. But let's hear it. If I cut off his tail with the prop, I win. If I miss, you win. What do I win? I'll back off. Give you a clear field with Barbara. Back off? Well, you conceited bastard. You know Barbara's my girl. I brought her here, pal. But she was my idea in the first place. Things change. She and I have been getting the hots for each other. You've been making out with my girl behind my back. Woohoo! feeling that this is our lucky day. You say so, buddy. This looks like the lost continent. The guy makes a wrong turn in here and he can forget it. One more time, what makes you think that there's oil in a place like this? Look, it's bubbling out all by itself in Mexico and Venezuela. And it's here too. Surprise. The communications equipment at camp is out again. I came because I've got some news for the boys. I'm afraid they're not here. No big problem. I'll just leave it with you, and I'll get going. Well, come up to the house. Let me fix you a drink. Then you can tell me what's going on. Say, I could sure use one, kid. But with the radio out, I got a... I got a lot of stops to make. Okay. Well, what's going on? What's this big news you have? The company did not renew the contract, and I've had orders to scrap the operation immediately. You mean... <laughs> we can go home? <laughs> oh, we can get out of this hellhole? <laughs> That's right, kid. Of course, the boys will be paid as per their contract, and if they want to, they can continue with the company in Venezuela. If they go, that trip they make without me. I'm going back to air conditioning, TV, and dressing up. <laughs> The 
first time I'm not gonna move. They don't crowd me. Makes me nervous and I start knocking things down. Don't worry, my friend. Just wanna talk. I don't wanna talk. I think you talk too much. And here's a good place to get your tongue cut out. All right, don't talk. Just listen. I know you'll be interested. Here, have one of mine. My name is Zapata, Fausto Zapata. My friend is Jairo. Jairo Avitia. He likes to think of himself as a Mexican. But he's a Chicano. An American. Just like you and me. We found out that you're into shafting the natives. So let's say that uh, you trade, you get along with them. We got some good bucks. We need to hire a couple of them. We need some guys. We tell them we're going hunting. But what we're hunting for is going to be our secret. <laughs> Your secret, huh? You got gold written all over you. Let me tell you something, pal. The only thing you're gonna get out of that jungle is a long walk through hell. Long and slow. Hey, friend. How about another drink? Fill you in, gringo. I don't eye on cherry. We've been working mines together in Montana and Colorado. We're experts. Yeah. Sounds to me like you had a good thing going. Why don't you go back to it? You know where the gold is. Your friend, he talks too much. I don't like anybody mouthing off about my business. I told you it was a good place to get your tongue cut out. You fucking idiots. You think if I knew where the goal was, I'd be trading trinkets with the Indians for nickels and dimes. Do you know what's down there below, Gringo? No, and I don't give a shit. Well, we're not alone. This bucket is full of mining equipment. All that gear down there must mean someone is on for a very good strike. We've been following those crates since we left shore. Those boxes are going to a Klaus von Blanks. Bienvenida a la fiesta de Yamurikuma. Thank them for their invitation, but uh, Tell them that we have supplies to pick up on the docks and that we cannot accept. I don't like their mood. You know what this is? Looks like some kind of bone. Yeah, it could be human. Oh, hell, it could be anything. It's probably a big monkey. Still, it could be human. We'll check it out later. Listen, boss, if we want to keep our bones in our skin, we'd better get back before we lose the light. Yeah. We picked up enough things for one day.
stick, my genius. What are you trying to say? What we found is crystallized carbon. Yes, it is, my dear. Of the purest and finest quality. It's beautiful. <laughs> but what does it mean to us? It could mean everything. See, that rock was buried right next to this bone. A human shoulder bone. So we figured the two go together. We keep digging. We're not only going to come up with the rest of the skeleton, but Dick thinks a big stash of those stones. Okay. Count me in. <laughs> but if we don't come up with it pretty fast, we're going home. Well, let's pop the champagne and celebrate that we may get very, very rich. <laughs> The men of this area went off on a fishing expedition. They were gone for a very long time. Whatever happened turned them into wild, vicious, beast-like men. my things. Well, you're hauling a lot of gear, Klaus. Are you going on a traitor hunt? You keep your nose out of my affairs. I suffice to get it blown off. It's none of your business where I'm going. I'm not so sure about that. I've got a long memory. I have a long memory, too. And I remember you, Gringo. And I remember that every time I see you, it brings bad luck. When you show up where you don't belong, you'll have all the bad luck you need. Put that gun away. I've seen guns before. Yeah, I know about your war record, Klaus. I also know what a big man you were in a concentration camp. But let me tell you, I never killed a Nazi before, but it's not too late to start. You keep out of my way, gringo. Very far out of my way. Okay, okay. Yeah. You know I'm the only authority in this town, so I make the rules. And I expect that every guest in this hotel has to follow them. Now, in this side, it's for women. And on this other side, that one is for men. And remember, no peeping out. And you must also remember that the women have the preference for the Latins. Well, you don't have to worry, because we have no women now. Well, good, because after seeing those tigers fight out there, that suits me just fine. Hey, Tato! <laughs> you have room for me? Hi, gringo. For the gringo, there is always room. How many are you, gringo? Oh, just me. Well, these guys, they're my partners. We're doing business. Yeah, it's better to have partners than enemies, right? <laughs> uh, now you're using that old uh, cabeza, partner. Move. 
I'm sure as hell doesn't want any company. Yeah. They know we're on to them. They want to beat us to the gold. They're running scared, you see. You can feel it. Yeah. Fear is a shadow of wealth. Hey, Gringo. What made you change your mind? I did. That's all you gotta know. Oh, yeah? And how come all of a sudden you decided to trust us? Trust you? Yeah. I don't have to trust you. You gotta trust me. You couldn't get into that jungle without me. You sure as hell can't get out without me. So just remember that. Well, I still think we should be following the stormtrooper there. You want to follow him? Go ahead. You mean you're not going to follow him? I don't know what the crowd is up to or where he's going. I just know by his animals he's going a long way around the jungle and up the side of the Sierras. But that's not the way I'm going. Oh, yeah? What the hell are you going to do, fly? We're going into the jungle right here. And then we're crossing the swamps with canoes. It's the fastest. Well, it's the most dangerous. Not even the Hebrews go there. And, and what are the odds of making it, do you know? Why? Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. If it's a big take, I'm not scared. Big take? Why, you poor suckers, you don't know what big is. You know what it is? It's the Emerald City, the jackpot at the end of the rainbow. Big! Boy, it's so big, it's gonna knock your eyeballs right out of their sockets. It's the treasure of the Amazon. That's how big it is. No scalp. These folks were trophies for headhunters, all right. This one doesn't show a skull either. The loss of my head may be no great loss to the world, but I would find it a definite inconvenience. <laughs> one of these stones as well. Uh, I don't know what the market is. But a bunch of these would be worth more money than people ever see in a lifetime. We'll be living like royalty the rest of our day. <laughs> well, Ingo, I understand that you and the German are going after gold. If so, I think it would be smart of you to tell me. Otherwise, you know what can happen. We told you we're going hunting. Yeah, we paid a lot of money for all this crap, so I don't think we have to answer to any more questions, do we? It is my duty to find out about any foreigners, adventurer, pirate, or leech who enters to my country, what they intend to do. There are thieves who would steal natural richness, so you must understand that I have the right to confiscate everything that's not declared. So good luck to you, my friends. Don't worry. All we're going to do is hunt. Do anything you want in that jungle. You can tear your eyes out, but if you find something of value, you have to declare it. Don't sweat it, Tacho. We're not going to cheat you or your government. I'm glad you understand, gringo. But if you want to go back to civilization, you have to come through here again. My men are silent, but very efficient. It will be a pity that suddenly you should find yourself with fish hooks through your tongue hanging up from a tree. 
Well, have another drink from the house, huh? We're doing this together. And I want to earn my share. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna stay. There's that noise again. Sounds like somebody's screaming. Ah, there's a kind of monkey that makes noises like that. No need to worry. What the hell are you doing? Noise! Just noise! Scare away that howling monkey the way it scared us. Next time you're gonna shoot, warn us. You almost fight me to death. One more step and I shoot. Morimba. Aslam, uh, why they are following us? And who sent them? Por qué nos siguen? Y quién los manda? Somos gente de Tacho. Tacho sent them. They work for him. Aslam, Aslam, have any soldiers? Soldiers arrived. Hay soldados por aquí? No, no hemos visto los hace mucho tiempo. No, there are no soldiers in a long time. Tell them to stop following us. If I see them again, I will shoot them. Váyanse. Los volvemos a encontrar siguiéndonos. Los mata. something? It wasn't until I saw Clark take off that I became afraid of this place. That plane was our last and only link with civilization. these Indians into bringing us into this swamp inside this funny casket. I don't even understand how these damn things can float. You see a lot of things in the jungle you don't understand. As far as the natives go, they're friends. I buy their feathers from them. I don't cheat them, they trust me. What did you offer them this time, Gringo? Your heads. Our heads? I told him that the Hiveros would pay a big price for it. Hey, listen, I, I don't think you're being very funny, you know that? What's the matter, Haro? You getting nervous? <laughs> now, let me tell you, either one of these two natives thought that there was a Hivero within five miles of this place. <laughs> They'd long be gone. Well, I got a feeling you're as scared as anybody. Yeah, well, I got my reasons. Watch it, Gringo. Yeah, what's the idea? That's part of the deal I made with them. I said they could have all the skins of the gators we shoot along the way. Part of their wages. Hey. 
That's a German. Oh, shit. We're not gonna stop for no fucking alligators. India, Echo, Zulu, over. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is India, Echo, Zulu, over. Who the hell is gonna hear? have to bring us to this stinking mark. I'm not spending another night hanging from no tree, you know that? Well, if you'd rather spend it in the belly of a crocodile, well, that's okay with me. You better stop worrying about finding that gold, because if we don't find it, it's not going to be so nice for you either. I was right there, you know, Kringo. Yeah. You better worry about finding the gold. That's the only thing we're not going to find here. Now, you better start talking some sense, friend. Because we ain't playing, you see. Yeah, am I. What are you trying to pull? What are you trying to pull? Why did you bring us this way, then? For something else. Something more valuable. What the hell are you talking about? A real treasure. Not those gold nuggets, but a whole river. A whole natural river of diamonds. The size of your eyes.
what we need to live on. Then we'll go. I don't want others to know the incredible wealth we have at our disposal. That way they'll think we failed. Or that we didn't find much. I will come back for more later. trying to say. He said he saw a deer right over there. That's good. They never come down to the swamp. That means we passed the first day. Good. Good, because I can't stand this fucking place any longer. Or him, for that matter. Well, let's keep on moving. I want to take a leak back. And I want to take a leak on dry land. Come on. <laughs> on dry land. Well, I better go see our supplies and equipment. Suppose, I mean, just suppose, Clark doesn't make it back. What do we do? Hope to God there's another way out of here. Don't worry, kid. I'm scared, too. to get there in a hurry, don't you understand? I told you three times, this is not an airplane. Be patient. If only there was some way to let him know. Okay, here, take it. Take it all. Here, it says 20, 30, 33 bucks. And I tell you what, I'll even throw in a, a pretty good watch. Now, what do you say?
hell did you do that for? Well, I shot the other one. He, he was trying to get away with our stuff. What the hell are you looking at me like that for? Don't you believe me? <laughs> Why shouldn't we believe you, Hyro? From now on, you're going to be doing his work. You're going to carry the gear. Oh, yeah? Says who? Says me. Because I'm carrying the show around here. Well, that's what you think, you lousy jungle rat. Because here each man looks out for himself. All right, Hyro, cut it out. This time Gringo is right. You, you better put your gun away. <laughs> now you're on his side, Zapata. Yeah. It's not a question of taking sides, pal. We came here to do something. Now, the only way we can get it done is to hang in the ghetto. Now, you're going to do what I tell you to do. You get it? You are crazy, man. You're crazy. What did you want me to do? The guy was trying to get away with our stuff. <laughs> He's right, you know. Get me out of here! One of us is supposed to look after ourselves. Yeah! <laughs> You're not the bitches! How about it, folks? Huh? Right. Get me out of you! Right. <laughs> Way up, I know. Way up, man. Way up, man. <laughs> Bullshit. You've always been able to come up with miracles before. Why not now? Two people could be dead, you know. Listen, Clark, I know how you feel. I really do. But you know there is no dead hydroplane. You have the only one in the area. Now, I sent for the parts you need, and with any kind of luck, you'll have it this week. I promise. That could be too late. Somebody beat us to the park. Could that be the Kraut? How the hell did he get here that fast? Well, he's gonna live here a lot faster. Because I didn't go through all this shit for nothing. Thank you. 
I don't know if we're getting closer or, or farther away. Yeah, you're doing fine. You're going back exactly the same way you came. Come on. Hey, what do you think? Bye-bye. I'm not talking about the dame. I'm talking about the line of the diamonds and the reaver and her friends. I don't like it. it seems like a setup to me. A setup? Yeah. For what? I don't know. Remember, nobody knew what was coming. your time. You better take a shot at what's left of the ice, kid. <laughs> it's too late, huh? You guys probably picked the best ones out of there. None left for me, probably, right? That's right. <laughs> That's right, Ringo. I guess the pata and I are the lucky ones, huh? <laughs> well, what can you do? I want to thank you guys for doing my work for me, though. Hey, hey, what are you talking about? Well, we're partners, right? That means we cut it in four equal parts. What? Three, four ways? You fucking crazy, man. Hey, the woman, she's entitled to a part, too, isn't she? She brought us here. That makes four of us. Four equal splits. Listen, Ringo. All these rocks I took are mine. I pulled them out. And I ain't gonna split with anybody, you know? Oh, you're gonna split them. And so will you, Harold. Oh, yeah. And if we don't, who's gonna make us? You, Gringo? You know, you think like a loser. You'll always be a loser. Hey, just because you got the diamonds in your hand, that doesn't mean you're gonna get to keep them. You gotta get out of this jungle to spend it, don't you? Well, how are you gonna do without me? Huh? So you guys better do what I tell you to do. Well, we are gonna get out of here without you. We'll find a way. And you and that girl better come and pull out your own, because I ain't sharing nothing. Listen, Gringo. There's two of us against one. Two of us. And if we have to use the gun to make you lead us out of here, we're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to do it. Okay, then we all die. I've had it right up to here. From now on, you two guys are on your own. Don't count on me. <laughs> Don't call me. Did you buy that? Nah, it's only bluffing. 
He's trying to scare us, so we have to split our loot with him. You understand? Uh, put the gun down, lady. You're going to have to get used to me. I'm going to look around. In the meantime, you decide whether you want to hang around and see who gets here first, your pilot friend or the Hiveros. Or you can go back with me. Why don't you take your clothes off and uh, jump in here and play with Hiram Mia? <laughs> because you already dirtied the water. Pig. Pig? Pig. <laughs> you're, you're a pig. You're a pig. You're a pig. You're a pig. All right. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't I don't want you to be scared of me. I want us to be friends. Friends? Hey. So soft, so smooth and beautiful. Instead, mine, look, mine. They're like, like rocks. Yeah, they are. <laughs> you'll be okay, you'll be okay, don't worry. You know what, I'm gonna take care of you. You know, if, if only I hadn't come across that animal there, that I would have come across a lady like you. Well, I would have had at least 12 kids. One for each month of the year. Never too late to get what you want. <laughs> That's right. But the important thing is... Yeah. ...knowing how to wait. Yeah, I know, I know. And that's a problem, you see. I never had enough patience. Hey, what's wrong with you? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I'm leaving. You're leaving. Yeah. Hey, relax. We're all going to get out of here together as soon as we clear out the icebox. I already told you. You guys are on your own. <laughs> He's crazy. Oh, he looks like he's on the double himself. Now look at the woman. She's gone. You know where she's gone? Because you're a pig. Get out of this damn jungle. I've got to get out of here. 
Hey, just simmer down, simmer down, will you? Now, my God, what do you say? I think what you need is a drink. Huh? I got some good stuff for you. Oh, God. Oh. I'll catch you. Hey, the rat. The only way out of here. If Gringo takes them, we're as good as dead. Let's go. What, you crazy? We're never gonna get another chance like this. Well, I had enough. Well, I ain't living until I get double of what I got. Okay. You stay and I go. No, you stay and I go. You'd shoot me for the glass, wouldn't you? That's right. And you do the same thing. Yeah, I guess so. But I'm glad you pulled out the gun first. Kind of, uh, takes the load off my back. Hey, I always took you for a double-crosser, I know. Shoot a friend point blank. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on. Hey. Hey, Zapata. Hey, don't leave me here, Ernest. I'm gonna get you, motherfucker. I'm your friend, you double crosser. How are you? <laughs> don't leave me, Ernest. Show me, you. just before he's ready to bite you. I'm sorry. I'm not hungry. 
have come back to Papa. <laughs> yeah. Kaido decided to stay. Oh, he did, did he? Yeah. Well, he must want those diamonds real bad. Maybe he can trade his head for them, huh? Huh. Well, it's his head. So I guess it's his problem. I can't keep. I told you I was going to get you out of this place. Well, I am. Huh? But you got to hell. Hold up your end of the deal. All right, all right. You'll get your share of the diamond. From now on, we share everything we've got.
I must protect the secret of Now, where is it, sir? Huh? Oh, oh. Oh, 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 that's a good. You got his too, huh? I hope you have found what you were looking for. Unfortunately, no. We were attacked by savages. They, they killed Marine, but I had to come back. I hope you are telling me the truth. It is easy to lie in order not to pay taxes. But you must know we have a very unfriendly form of punishment for liars. Did you find the gold? No. No, I, I told you no. I, I had to come back. What is this? That is it's a sand. Sand? Yes, it, it's a sand. Sand. I am taking samples to analyze them. I don't think you need so many bags to be analyzed. Hope you're not thinking I'm a goddamn fool. And what is this, you son of a bitch? Turn to ashes and dust to dust. Ask the Lord for forgiveness and repent. Repent for the sins you have committed against him so that you may have forgiveness. 
for all eternity. I repent. Nothing. My hero wanted to cleanse this earth of poison and create a race of men that would glorify all mankind. I hit. Now that we are all in peace with God, this is your share for the taxes, Padre. Father, and the needy, I thank you. Happy have returned, but you gave me a tremendous surprise, huh? I thought you were coming back with the other two, and you come with her. But let me congratulate you, my friend. I think it was a very intelligent change. Did you find the gold? No. Are you sure? I said no. All right, before you say no again, I have something to show you. Hijo, enseño esos pinches gringos que es lo que tenemos allá afuera. Sí, Tacho. That happened to him because he was lying. Besides, he was bad. He didn't want to pay the taxes. And she's... If you don't want to happen the same thing to you, why don't you tell the truth? Did you find gold? I already said no. I'm just trying to help you, sir. It's so much better to be on the side of the law. I'm going to repeat, did you find gold? Ringo, please. We've been through enough hell. I couldn't take any more. Why don't you just tell him? They're probably worthless, but... He's a smart lady. She told the truth, so she's free. But not you. I think you're stupid and you lie. You're wrong, fat man. You asked about gold. I said no. That's all I found. You're very smart, man. You didn't lie. You told the truth. So you are also free. So yours, the rest will be for the government. Sleep. 
No. That's something I want to show you. Yeah, I've got a surprise. A surprise I want to show you. Oh, 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 just wait. Just you wait and see. Split it four ways. There's only two of us now, so you get half of it and I get half of it. <laughs> you, uh, you want to help me spend my half? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, we'll catch a big bird and get out of this jungle and go to New York. Check in one of those fancy hotels, walk down Fifth Avenue and do some window shopping and buy you some fancy dresses and, <laughs> and me some new duds and, and then uh, and then we'll walk into one of those fancy restaurants too, those French ones. And we'll order up the whole menu. No snake. No, no, no snake. <laughs> no caviar and champagne. And then we'll travel around the world and and see all the wonders. Yeah, just you and me. Just you and me together. Ah, wonderful. <laughs> I can't wait to get started. Papa, you sweet thing. 